McIntyre and McIntyre Law. Here on Living Oklahoma, we love to spotlight young people who love their community and are giving back. So every month, with the help of local attorney and philanthropist Noble McIntyre, we do just that. Noble's here now with another Noble Cause winner. Noble, who are we honoring this month? Hey guys, good morning. Today we have Samantha Wagner. Samantha's from Payne County and she's actually homeschooled, been homeschooled for years because her mother was a teacher in Dallas and decided that for her family she wanted to homeschool. But you're involved heavily in the Payne County 4-H and you have been since you were nine years old, correct? Yes. Okay, and your older sister was as well. The two of you guys did it together, but now she's moved on and now it's just you and your family, correct? Mm -hmm. and, and I understand from visiting with you a little bit before we started that Part of the reason that you like 4-H is because you're a very community service oriented person. You love doing stuff for the community. And, and I'm told you've done, if not 50 or 60, 100, over 100 community service projects in your time. Is that right? Yes. Tell me a little bit about some of the projects. I know we discussed earlier, you've got the Boomer Lake cleanup, the Operation Christmas Child, the Valentine's Day gift bag, the food sacks for kids, and those are just a few. Tell me about the Boomer Lake cleanup and why that was important to you and how you noticed that that was a need. So in Stillwater, there is a lake called Boomer Lake. It had quite a bit of litter and trash that had washed up around the shore. And I liked to look at that lake while I was driving past and it looked very littered. So I um, grabbed a couple of members, uh, told them to spread the word that on so-and-so date, we would be cleaning up that lake got in contact with the um, Stillwater uh, services and we got to work. There was about 60 members and we got over 20 trash bags filled. Wow, well I mean I can tell you, it's, it's not always hard sometimes to get people to volunteer for some of the fun stuff, but to volunteer for something like that, I mean I had to, I've got to believe it was a dirty, nasty cleanup. I mean, it's, 60 people out there filling 20 bags of trash and it's just that's what you that's the kind of things that I like to spotlight on some of the youth today I mean you you saw a need you just drove by you saw a need and you recognize it and you rounded up 60 people and you cleaned up and that's just one of dozens and dozens of projects you've done correct mm -hmm. now, now tell me why is it that you do these projects what do you get out of it I enjoy seeing the youth and younger members of 4-H get involved in community service and learn where the community has a need and learn to be able to fill that need. And I'll tell you that from, from personal experience, there's a lot of followers out there and they're willing to do things. They just need a leader and sometimes it's trying to identify who that leader is and have them step up so that people will come help. And that's exactly what you're doing and the other Noble Cause winners are doing is you're just different than some of your other peers and that you're being a true leader. And so, I mean, I don't just tell me another project. Tell me about this one, the Valentine's Day gift bags. So each year my 4-H club would gather donations for gift bags for the youth shelter in um, Stillwater. We would give uh, toys, um, snacks, we'd give some movies and cleaning supplies for the um, workers there to be better off and to help them enjoy their stay there longer. And, and like I said, we've talked about a bunch of these I and mean, you've done the food sack for the kids, the Operation Christmas Child, just a number of things. What I like to do is, we visit earlier, I'm Noble McIntyre, I've got a firm here called McIntyre Law here in Oklahoma City, and I like to identify youth in our society that are out doing amazing good things, and that's you. You're doing things more above your peers, and, and I'm very grateful and I'm very proud of you. So a couple things I have for you from my firm is you're the Noble Cause winner for February 20. I know it's March 1st, but we had to cancel this because of the ice. February 22nd, 2022 Noble Cause winner, so I have that for you. The other thing that I have for you is a check from my firm to you for $100 and a check to the Payne County 4-H for $150. And it's just my way of saying thank you for what you're doing. Do whatever you want with these funds. Go do more projects, whatever you want. But we wish you the best in college. Uh, it's my understanding you're planning to go off to Oklahoma State. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we wish you the best at that. And I'm just very proud of you. So when you go off to college, you keep it up, all right? Okay. All right, guys. So we have Samantha Wagner from Payne County 4-H. She's been in 4-H since she was 9. She's 16 now and she's doing amazing things. 
Absolutely noble. Thank you so much for shining a light on another incredible student out there making a difference in Samantha. We are just so proud of you. So keep it up out there. And if you want more details about McIntyre Law, they are your personal injury attorneys ready to help you out. Located at 8601 Southwestern Avenue in Oklahoma City. Visit them online at McIntyreLaw.com or give them a call at 405-917-5200.